So Blitz, we're here at a very rainy GMHBA stadium. We're at the stage of the season where we're moving into more kind of full field training. Talk us through this stage of pre-season. Yeah, we're trying to hit a few more bodies, a bit more contact and um, sort of, I suppose, the bit more match play type scenarios. So um, they're always good fun, maybe a little bit less pre-season running and um, just to get fit now, it's a bit more football specific. So um, yeah, February is always a really enjoyable month and it's a lot of, um, yeah, I suppose, match play and, and uh, yeah, physical, I suppose, um, drills. Yeah. And we just had our practice matches announced this week. Talk us a little bit about the lead up to that, what you hope to get out of those and then heading into 2023. Yeah, it's really good. I really love the uh, practice matches we do. It's just a different stimulus. We train a lot against each other. So now what we've been practicing all through the pre-season, we can put into practice against the different oppositions. So Hawthorne first and then Brisbane. Um, yeah, I suppose it's just good to work on a few things, um, see players in different positions and uh, again, a bit more match practice ready for round one. Isaac Smith recently talked about kind of the mindset change between the success of last year and then going into 2023. What's that shift been like for you? Yeah, it was an amazing year. Um, one that was really enjoyable and to taste that ultimate success is something that I suppose a lot of us want to try and we want to taste it again. So, um, yeah, we'll obviously remember and look back fondly, but for this year, you just got to move on. Um, Again, it's all started scratch. Everyone's nil wins, nil losses. So um, you move on pretty quick and you just work hard and we'll change a few things. Um, the, the structure and everything that we did last year is not going to work again this year. We've got new personnel in, in the new players we've got in board. So um, yeah, very exciting season ahead. And um, yeah, we know there's a big challenge ahead, but we're really excited for it. The other one for me too is down back is Asava. Um, Sav's got great sense of where to market and playing as a defender rather than a forward he's getting more space to run and jump at the ball and he's clunking everything so um, sort of different ends of the forward and defenders but they're both looking really good. And on that flexibility obviously it's been a big part of your game do you think that's where the game is going in terms of how it's impacting our success? Yeah I think so I think the game's growing in terms of um, you need players being able to play different positions games change throughout quarters and there's injuries happen and um, depending on the tactics. So uh, um, I think it's a real strength if players are able to um, be a lead at one spot, but then able to um, be really strong and, and have the coaches feel comfortable with them playing in different positions for whatever reason might happen. And then a bit of a shift, but last week in the team meeting, we saw you just touch on your work with Read the Play. Can you tell us a little bit about that and then also heading into community camp next week? Yeah, community camp's back. So we're down in Warrnambool Monday, Tuesday. So that's going to be really exciting. Um, we haven't done that for a few years. Um, physically we've done a few online community camps but uh, for me Mark O'Connor and Claudia Gunjak are part of the AFLW program. Uh, we're ambassadors for Read the Play so um, with Read the Play they just work, do some workshops um, with uh, young teams, netball, junior netball, junior football teams right down from here to Warrnambool, Werribee, all over the place and it's just about um, promoting mental health, um, showing young kids signs, what to look for, um, that message of it's okay to speak up if you're not feeling feeling well, whatever it might be, and, and just being really inclusive with that. So um, I, I've been a part of Read the Play since 2013. It's almost 10 years now. So, um, yeah, I'll continue to do that while I'm playing footy. Great. Thanks, Blitz.